Hello dancers, welcome back to our channel here at Image Ballroom Dance Academy in Dallas, Texas. Today I'm going to be discussing the advanced execution of the hip twist chasse in international style cha-cha. Thank you for joining me today in learning the advanced version of the hip twist chasse in international style cha-cha. Before we move on to the technique and the mechanics, let's first review the footwork and the timing. We're going to start on the left leg. We're going to rock back or back replace with your right foot. We're going to go right, replace to the left. We're going to twist around the left leg. Right foot comes across both the foot. We bring the left foot together and we finish with a side step. Let's take a look from a side angle. So be on the left leg. We're going to go back with the right, replace towards your left, swivel around, ball with the foot on the right, Bring the feet together and finish with a side step to the right. Now, let's take a look at the timing. So we're on the left leg, this is count one. We're gonna go back on two, replace the weight, three, and is the swivel, four, we step across, and we bring the feet together, one, finish to the side. And side angle view, we start on the left, one, back on two, Replace three and swivel four and one finish to the side. Okay, first I would like to talk about your upper lower body opposition. In order for your hips to twist, they need to have a resistant point from your upper body. Most of the time your upper body is going to stay forward towards your partner or towards the audience and you're going to be twisting underneath your lower body. So if I face the camera and I start and place my hands in front as I'm dancing towards a wall or with, with my partner, I'm going to go back on two, I'm going to replace three. On count and make sure that you twist only your lower body without moving your hands. and. From here, you're gonna go four and finish one. Now, I'm gonna demonstrate the incorrect version. When you go two, sometimes dancers try to twist more and they try to help themselves with their upper body or their arms mostly, and then the arms are flying around. Let's take a look also from a side angle. So, we're gonna go back on two, we're gonna replace the weight forward, three. This is gonna be the hardest moment. So here you need to be aware of your upper lower body position. And four and one. Well done. The second topic I would like to discuss is your body weight. Full body weight transfer versus partial weight. Especially let's get started with a side angle. I wanna demonstrate going backwards into your back rock. A very common mistake is when people rock back, they treat this instead of a step, they think of it as a walk and they have too much weight going backwards. From here, they're late to replace their weight in the music and they end up swaying their body and falling off balance. Instead of that, as we rock backwards, we still want to finish our hip weight into the right hip but we want to redirect already our upper body in our next direction forward. Changing the direction forward from here. Same rule as number one, what we discussed, upper body stays towards the partner. We twist underneath the body. We go four, this is a partial weight step, so don't put your head weight and a full weight into the front foot. Four, and it's another partial weight step, and then go one, to the side. All right, we continue with number three, how to finish your body action, even if you have ball of the foot versus ball flat stepping. So I'm gonna turn my back to you. We're gonna start standing again on the left leg. As I settle my weight to the left leg, I'm already connecting my left back to my left hip, my left muscle. So from here, I'm gonna go back on two. I'm gonna connect on the right side. Replace three, I'm gonna think of connecting on the left side. I'm gonna tie this with a hip twist on end. Then I'm gonna go four ball of the foot. And even though that I'm ball of the foot, I don't dance without 
using my back to connect it to my hips. I still go four internally. I'm gonna connect my back and I'm gonna connect. I'm gonna settle my hip, even though I'm not lowering my heel. I still finish that action and I finish to the side on count one and connecting my back to my hip. Let's take a look also from the side angle. Starting on the left leg, connect on the left and back two and three and four and one and. Now let me demonstrate a combination of all these mechanics, how they work together. Cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one and two and three. All right, side angle and two and three and cha cha one and two three. I'm gonna face the camera. Cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one and. Thank you very much for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Have a great practice, and we will see you next time.